Hey everyone, it's Andy from Andy's Fishing and Wild Cook. I'm in a tropical North Queensland saltwater creek and today's fishing challenge is to catch a fish on every lure in this Lively Lures gift or, you know, tackle box. This is a saltwater creek pack. You get a discount and it's actually a lot of value I reckon. It's lures I've chosen myself which I think I can, yeah, catch a lot of fish on. So today's challenge, it's, it's going to be a tough one because there's seven lures in there and it's already midday so I've only got the afternoon. I'll show you what's in the in the box shortly, but let's uh let's let's whack on one that I think will catch me the first fish and uh we'll, I'd say we'll be out here till dark. <laughs> Andy's fishing and wild cook. So I love all of these lures. I mean I chose them for, for this pack specifically. But let's go with the, I think that's an Assassin 75. Um, he should be really easy to get a couple of fish on. Or we'll, just, we'll just go for one fish each. Nice bit of timber here. Okay, we'll get that lure down into the zone a little bit further. Right there, come on. Yeah, oh, that was a hit. Come on, come on, come on. Here's a great looking snag. I've um, cast quite a few times at good snags, but nothing's come out yet. So it's a little bit slow at the moment. Let's go in the middle here. Right there, come on. Oh, little guy. Oh, you are almost the same size as the lure. We will count that, but if we get a fish on every lure, we'll have to come back to this lure because you are so small. Hey, little baby mangrove jack. Look at that. Hey, look at you. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's change to the next lure. As I said, we've got a long way to go. So this lure is called a mohawk. I've never used one of these before, and I, I don't know why. Um, I do like trying different lures. So he's got a nice big shape, big bib, so he should be good for around the, the rocks. We've got a couple of rocks coming up here. Um, big bib means they, um, they often bounce over timber or around rocks, so they don't get stuck. There we go, you can see the size of that bib. Yeah, he should be a good one. This looks like perfect country for this lure. Lots of rocks, and I'm gonna call cod. I reckon that's what we'll get with this lure. In this in this spot anyway. Yep, got him. Oh, what is that? Cod or jack? Oh, I dropped it, oh, that was a cod. That was a cod. There's a uh, nice big rock off the bank here. Let's go between the bank and the rock, and we should get a fish. Oh, brim. Got him. Yes, that's a brim. Oh, lost him. Oh, that was brim. That was a brim. Try again. Come on. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, here's a nice rocky point with oysters all over it. There'll be a fish here for sure. Come on. Bouncing across the rocks, just hold the rod nice and high. Oh, I can see a fish there. Come on, fish. Oh, God, that's it. Got him. That was the wrong one. I was looking at the other one. <laughs> oh, that's two fish on two lures. Not a bad one. Black spot cod, estuary cod. Okay, there we go. Little black spot estuary cod. Maybe 34. 233 centimeters. Hey, okay, off you go. See ya. Because we're going quite shallow, I'm going to put on the mad mullet. This lure here, if, if you guys have been watching me for a while, I caught 17 barramundi on this in about half an hour. I haven't seen a barramundi here yet, so we'll whack this on and see see how we go. New lure, new spot. Oh, bounced me the wrong way. I want to get right next to that. Oh, come on. I'm not looking at them. I don't want to hit them. No, that's a bit better. Right, one more go. One more go in there. That's the cast I wanted. Now, I chose the Mad Mullet because it's a shallow running lure, and it's quite shallow up here. So, always use the lure to the area it's suited in. It may look deep here, but there's less than a metre of water under us, and that's why I chose this lure, because I can fish it very shallow. Yep, 
That was a barramundi, maybe? It looked a bit like a barramundi. The strike was really fast. Oh, no, mangrove jack. Ooh, knocking these lures over. That's third lure. Third fish. Beautiful. Yeah, he came out like a rocket. So, guys, if you like the lures you see and the fish I'm catching and you want to buy some, get 10% off with the uh, yeah the link in my description. Okay, off you go, little buddy. He's um, yeah, 31 maybe. Okay, bye. There he goes. So now I'm going to go to the Arafura Barra. I think that's a 120, 110, something like that. Uh, it's still quite shallow in this part of the creek, so that's why I'm putting that on. If it was deeper, I'd, I'd go with those two. So, yeah, always fish the right sort of depth lure in the water you're in. Beautiful lure. Look how fat they are. Okay, let's um. Let's get one. First cast with the Arafura. Not a bad spot. This thing wobbles around quite nicely. Has a lot of sideways action for very little forward action. Great barrel lure. Yep. So I haven't caught a fish on the Arafura, but I'm changing to the bigger Assassin because this dives a little deeper and this section of river is, is quite deep so yeah using the arafura which only goes down like a foot and a half is, is going to be a bit pointless this will go down to like three or four feet and that, that's where i'm hoping the fish are first cast with the little bit bigger gold assassin oh perfect there's actually a log right there where i am now looks like a nice root ball here Always got to pay attention to the little things. Like you can only just see that. Yes, got him. Yes, second cast. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. That that actually just verifies my theory of going deeper when the water's deeper. Wow. Hello, cod. Oh, there's a chance we can we can get a lure, a fish on each one of these lures yet today. It's going to be tough, like I said, but we've done four already. So that's very cool. Literally the second cast after changing lures because I wanted to go a little deeper. And that is our fourth fish on the fourth lure. That is cool. Hello black spot. Hey, off you go buddy. Yep, he's good. Well, two casts and we can tick you off. I, I do like the assassins. I really do. Good lure. So now I'm changing to a um, deep diving mad mullet. Now you'll notice also the last one was a gold colour and this is a like an Elton John rainbow colour. The reason for that is that when Alan from Lively Lures asked me which lures I wanted in a box, I, I wanted to have a, a range of colours and also a range of depths. So this one and the last one are deep diving lures and the one I took off before, the Arafura is a very shallow. So with that box you can fish almost anywhere and catch fish. Let's see if we can get one on that too. I'm going to say it's going to take longer than two casts, but you never know. And why not? We'll go exactly where we just got that fish from. Because they hang out in numbers sometimes, it's not just one fish. So here's a good looking spot. I skip quite a lot of country, just so I can fish the better spots. By better spots, I mean more structure places for the, the fish to hide and ambush this is one big snag very hard to fish because it's just covered in weeds I think I can see a fish in the back there probably a brim he won't go for this but what we'll do is we'll go along the front edge and get it right down into the zone right there I think that was a jack. I just missed the jack. Let's go in there again. I don't think he grabbed it. I think he might have just missed it. Damn it. Big lump off the bank there. Good ambush spot. And oh, that was a touch. That was a touch.
Yep, got him. Oh, it's a small fish, but I'm counting it if I get it. Come on, come on. Brim! <laughs> oh, you are a greedy bugger. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to let you go. Oh, I think I got a little bit lucky today with that lure. Because that's actually a, yeah, a big barrel lure, and silly old Brim got it. Hey. <laughs> All right, I'm counting it. Off you go, buddy. We've only got two left. Oh, we have to put the Arafura back on. Because, oh, the other one's a Ziggy, which is a top water. That will be the challenge for today. So back on with this guy. Oh, got him. Yes. Oh, that's a nice cod. Oh, only the second cast after putting that lure back on. Oh, he's got to stay. He's got to stay. Oh, I've got two fish. Oh, I've got a jack and a cod. Oh, and the, the cod came off. He's still trying to eat that lure. <laughs> oh, man. That, I had the cod. The jack grabbed the lure, and then the cod got off. Look at the color on this guy. He doesn't know what's going on. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. He is 37 centimeters. Beautiful. And that cod was, was even bigger. He was probably a 38, 39, actually even 40 centimeter cod. That is very cool. So how's that? I almost caught two fish on the lure that I'd almost given up on before. Goes to show you, never give up on a lure. It's um, it's it's a shallow water lure, but that chrome flash, obviously, you know, they love it. Almost got a cod and a jack. Hey, I'll let you go, buddy. One more lure to go. Tide's coming in now. Uh, it's going to come in fast, and the top water lure, the Ziggy, is the last one left. So we'll give it a shot. Um, yeah, could be quite hard. Well, we got an hour or two left, so. We'll fish hard, eh? Let this guy go. Hey buddy, off you go. He's gonna take off, he's chomping at the bit, literally chomping at the bit. There he goes. Beautiful. That is the last lure, the Ziggy. They're a great lure, but it's not quite the right place for him. Having said that, we just caught almost two fish on that lure, and it's, you know, that dives to one foot. So, we've got an hour or so to go. Oh, probably, probably closer to two hours, we've got still daylight. We'll whack the Ziggy on and fish it hard. I'm actually very impressed that we've caught fish on those other six lures. I think we might do it. Let's do it, fellas. Guys, girls, let's do it. The one thing we've got in our favour is the tide's just started moving. Um, here the tide's a little bit slower, it has to jump over the, the creek mouth and the fish are all quite hungry, the, the water's been quite stagnant for a long time and as the tide pushes in, the bait pushes in and the fish know that and they're, they're actually looking up ready to feed so um, let's feed this Ziggy to some fish. Oh, there's a brim. Okay, okay. We might be in with a chance straight away. If that was first cast. This is second cast. There's a brim. Come on, he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Oh, he did have a go though. This is looking up. We do have a very small window here because once the tide starts really ripping in. Oh, we missed him. We missed him. Once the tide starts ripping in, it's just going to be over. So, but that was cool. Second cast, almost had him. I love the way the ziggies just go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Let's see if we can get it through that gap there. It's tight. Oh, perfect, perfect. Come on, right there. Oh, got him. Yes, yes. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Well, he's not in yet, but... Oh, that's the... Oh, I think that might be a trevally. I don't know. 
The way it hit wasn't a trevally, but it's fighting like a trevally. Oh, the last lure. Nah, it's got to be a trevally. Got to be a trevally. It's got to be. Yep, it's a trevally. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Last fish. Oh, and we've got a fish on every lure. That is so cool. Oh. Ow. Oh. I'm a little bit oh, gung-ho. I want to get this fish in. There we go. Oh, we got it. We've got it. We've got a fish on every lure. And the lively lures. Saltwater pack, creek pack. Oh. <laughs> oh. I didn't think that was going to be possible today. Like I said, it was only, it's only a half day. Guys, I'm ecstatic. That's a fish on every lure in that pack. I'm so happy. <laughs> it just goes to show you that if you persist and you believe in yourself, you can do it. Um, I had my doubts when I started this challenge. And you're a nice fish. You've got to be... Yeah, he's over 50 centimetres. So we'll let him go. And uh, yeah, guys, if you want to grab one of these packs, 10% off. Discount code is in the description. They're great lures, and I love fishing with them. Woohoo! <laughs> Love it. Love it. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified of my new videos. I do them every week. I'd also like to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters and people who've donated through PayPal. If you want to see more right now, click the, uh, the links above. Catch you next time.